What is up friends, it's me, your boy Eric, and welcome back to another 370 Easy video. Today, we have a huge box to open, cause parts. Let me tell you something. This package is actually from Poland. So there's this guy that makes them, Peter. He's from Poland, great guy. So I actually found Peter in a Facebook uh, 370Z group. I was actually trying to look for a really simple design diffuser that doesn't look like, you know, it wants to cut your hair. You know what I'm talking about. That's not my cup of tea. So originally, 350Z has this uh, diffuser called top secret style type of rear diffuser and I, I like that it's so low key but it, it, it's just a tad bit aggressive and it looks very clean bottom line he makes diffusers lips and side skirt extension for 370z's and uh, you know what I can't thank him enough for existing and making this happen so thanks Peter Enough talk, let's open these bubble wraps and see what's the beauty underneath these wraps. All right, this is probably not the best way to open it, but we're trying anyway. That's a lot of layers of bubble wrap there, buddy, but I'm happy that I don't see any there's a small crack there but you know what that's like in the front so I don't really have any issue with that oh boy nice okay let's bring it to the car so I'm kind of concerned that my HKS dual exhaust is not gonna clear this I didn't see any instructions in the box so I might have to wing it so yes this is how it should look like and yes my uh my HKS clears out. I'm gonna remove the fourth brake light from the bumper and then put it on that diffuser. And then we have those um, fins, side fins. I don't know. Let's go back and check the rest. So big question is why are we putting this? Why are we putting a rear diffuser? Well, when I was buying this, I wasn't really thinking of aerodynamics. I mean, sure, if you overthink about it, um, it would improve your aerodynamics as most you know ground effects that you can put like front lip rear diffuser side skirt extension maybe i don't know i'm not professional got this for looks i get it just add rice to the car i don't know why but i mean it looks good it makes me happy so c'est la vie <laughs> holy smokes so this is going to be a really extensive um installation so we have a lot of hardware here we have a huge, I don't know the word, <laughs> and we have a few more fins here, side and the entire rear diffuser. So this is made in fiberglass. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt that it's going to be strong enough for the Southern Alberta roads. Uh, I need to figure out how to do this before I actually jump it into the project. Many unbearable hours later. I'm down here on the rear bumper and um, actually got to remove the fourth brake light so we can transfer it to the diffuser because it has a little bit of offset okay here's how we do it so we got the fourth brake light out there's a bulb but uh, to be honest, I've never seen it on, so I don't know if it was working. Who knows? It's nebulose. The top part of the diffuser is probably going to sit up right over here. And as you can see, this thing is uh, in the way for 
the fourth brake light. So we're gonna do a little bit of mod for the fourth brake light, so watch that out. Subscribe right now if you wanna see that. Right over here, it's just gonna be like this. And this little fin right here is going to stay there, okay? Get the gist? Peter gave us a bunch of hardware I'm not pretty sure where these go. So a bunch of nuts, bolts, washers. Try to organize this before actually using any of these on the mounting or the supporting um, issue. So you can literally use this to make brackets uh, to support the, uh, the rear diffuser and then bolt it. These are really flexible and I'm pretty sure we can cut it with our, that thing, that metal shear. On both sides, I drilled two holes to meet to the bumper for this little uh, support right here. So now, and I went around this diffuser to mark it with a pen so that I know where to drill for uh, the three holes that's going to be sitting right over here. So that's, this hole will match this one. And then we can start drilling the rest of the holes on the side of this rear diffuser. So it's being held again by two bolts up here with that support and then three of these Allen head bolts. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. So that's what it looks like. Now I guess we should just tackle how we're going to do the bracket in the middle. Let's do that. A little concern right here is that this one is like snug fit but if you go to the other side yeah there's a little gap right there as you can see that's an easy fix all i gotta do is probably shave the other side you know let's make some brackets for the inside i still don't know how to approach this so bear with me i decided to pre-install these um i don't know what they are you can basically access and you know uh, untether this remove this by just taking out this Allen head bolt. So if I need to do any service at all, I just have to remove this and Bob's your uncle. I'm gonna put this back on and then measure the, the distance from this bolt to that uh, bolt right over there. So, and then I can start cutting. And then I realized that if I'm only putting uh, support on the back, there's no support like right over here. And I'm not really, a fan of bolts showing on this clean looking diffuser so I'm gonna try as much as possible hide these bolts so it's gonna go I'm making a bracket with that from here this bottom part of the fourth brake light or fog light I don't want to call it from here to somewhere right over here in theory it should work and it shouldn't show as much I'll just try to hide it Okay, so that you know it's stable the, this part is stable I don't have anything to worry about um, this flying off or breaking okay so we got one two three four five mounting points and I'm not even going to remove this valence rear valence looking thing so no cutting required look at that okay so I managed to cut two 20s and one well, two 22s and one, I think that's four. So we're just gonna go to the back, clamp it and um, make some bends.
after days of fighting this and all that thinking and all that math that was involved and it was all <sighs> stressful to be honest but finally installed it so if you like this video guys hit the like and if you haven't subscribed yet you know what to do hit the subscribe button and then the bell so you get notified when i'm going to be releasing new videos and i'll see you on the next video take it easy folks Bye.